Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. And today we're going to be talking about a little bit of mess, a little bit of drama going down between Foodie Beauty and Life by Jen. So Foodie Beauty did have a live stream last night and she went off on people who have things to say about her intuitive eating plan. And she did school us on intuitive eating, the 13 principles of intuitive eating. What do you guys think about that? Honestly, to me, it seemed a little bit health at every sizey, but that seems to be the way a lot of these dietitians are going, at least as far as I can tell by what I see. Is that the new acceptable form of nutrition? I'm not totally sure, but she let us know how she is dealing with her disorder and how she is mainly focusing on how to avoid massively overeating. Now, to me, me. intuitive eating does not mean going to Wendy's and having two sandwiches and a baked potato with cheese all over it. Maybe for you, that means, you know, going to Wendy's still, but getting a small cheeseburger and a small fry. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, let's try to avoid overeating on a massive scale, but not completely cut that out. So I can understand where she's coming from, but I just don't think that she's doing it right. I guess she'll have to talk to her dietitian about that one, but that's not exactly what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about her little tip with Life by Jen. Now, if you guys didn't know, this drama actually goes back several years ago. I want to play you guys a clip from 2019 when Jen had had enough with Foodie Beauty. As a viewer, she decided it was her time to unsubscribe because she was just confused about the kind of content that Chantal was doing. Let's take a look. But I unsubscribed today from Chantal, Foodie Beauty, because today she triggered me. Today I felt confused by her content I felt that I could no longer support her I don't think that body positivity itself is a bad thing in the right circumstances but in my opinion her whole stance on body positivity is not what the body positivity movement is all about she is using the body positivity as an excuse to binge. So I can definitely relate to what she is saying as far as watching Chantal from a viewer's perspective. You really don't know where she's going to go next. And if I had trouble with food, I could not watch Foodie Beauty. I just think that it would be triggering. So I don't think it would be healthy for Jen to continue watching, especially if that's how she's feeling. But recently this drama reared its head again when Foodie Beauty went over to Life by Jen's page and offered some unsolicited diet advice. She had to say, if you have an eating disorder, the last thing you want to do is a diet that restricts a major food group such as carbs. Let's be real here. One big girl to another. Fruit isn't what made us fat. So Foodie Beauty is trying to tell her intuitive eating principles to Jen. And like I said in my live stream yesterday when we discussed this, I don't think that keto is the best thing for Jen, but at least she is continuing to try something for for now, we shall see how that goes. But as far as foodie giving diet advice, I just don't see that as reputable as well because we've seen her try many different things and they don't seem to help. Foodie Beauty did actually say in her live stream that that was the whole point of her new intuitive eating. She needs to break out of diet culture. Stop thinking that this next big fad diet is something that's going to work for her. We've seen her do things like like fruitarian diet for a day, veganism. The only thing I think she hasn't tried was keto or actually she's might have tried that as well. And I do see some of the points that she's trying to make. She does need to change her relationship with food, but she at least needs to start by only getting one meal <laughs> So during Foodie Beauty's live stream that actually took place this morning at three o'clock in the morning, I guess Jen was watching and she decided to write a community post of her own. Now that was swiftly taken to Foodie Beauty's live chat where Foodie Beauty did read it live. Like she wants re- like reaction channels to grab this and have comment for 
I get deleting comments. I've done it thousands of times. And she was not so happy about that. But first, let's take a look at the community post in question. I assume that Jen decided that she needed to say something because a lot of people were talking about the comment that Foodie Beauty had left on her video. Here's what she had to say. I don't usually rant about other YouTubers except for a few times, but I feel this is justified. I might be wrong and others might possibly disagree with me and that's fine too. I'm just going to say what I feel. I'll decide later if I'm wrong. Wrong, I'll post a retraction and apologize. So with that being said, a few hours ago, I posted a comment on Foodie Beauty's latest video that is the Wendy's mukbang. If you guys didn't see my live from yesterday, we did take a look at that, that she didn't approve. I'm attaching a screenshot of that comment. I get deleting comments. I've done it a thousands of times. What I don't get is feeling that you can leave whatever kind of comment you want, giving unsolicited diet advice, proceed to post hundreds of fast food food binge mukbangs then delete a comment questioning their own behavior so i wouldn't really feel singled out jen if i were you she doesn't really approve any comments does she even the slightest bit of criticism will get you blocked from commenting on her channel i wouldn't really be surprised if she already had jen blocked from her channel obviously i'm not an eating disorder specialist but i'm pretty sure common sense can tell you that eating wendy's multiple sandwiches and a container of cheese topped with a little potato oh girl coming through it's cheese with a potato not a potato with cheese i see what you did there is not intuitive eating i would have to say i agree with her on this i mean i'm not pointing this out because i think my diet is perfect or right for her or to shame her but when you decide to hand out advice make sure that you can have some clue about what you're speaking about if you want to delete comments and block people i'm all for it but when you use it to hide from being confronted about something you started that's cowardly so she always does this foodie beauty she'll leave comments on people's posts and you know they can't really reply back on her videos you could always like reply in the thread but she it's not like she's going to actually reply later. She'll probably end up actually deleting that post if the replies get a little too harsh and against her. So people do feel the need to write on a community post or make a video in order to respond to her. If you have something to say, say it and allow that person to respond. Don't act entitled or better than them or go ahead. In the end, it's Chantal's call. She's in control or so she likes to think she is. Using a delete button doesn't heal an eating disorder I know personally just saying so this is the comment that Jen actually left on the video for foodie beauty that she did not approve I'm guessing she didn't see it. That's what she said in her live stream is that she did not see it to approve it yet. Jen says, I just popped over to see what you were eating to get some pointers since you think restricting causes binges. What caused this binge? Were you restricting? It just amazes me that someone whose channel is packed full of junk and fast food has decided to give me advice on how slash what to eat. After reading what Jen had to say about her, Foodie Beauty was not very happy about it. And here's what she had to say. What? You're a real bitch. You're a bitch because I was trying to help you. Seriously. F you. Good luck with your keto. Get out of your chair. Stop wheeling around your community building and watching the f***ing camera all day. You're full of shit and you're a hater suck up. Now, Foodie Beauty actually did go off on one of her subscribers during that live stream before this drama even went off, telling her that she doesn't know what a binge is for Chantal. They're not binges. You don't know me. You don't know my eating disorder. You don't know what a binge is for me. And I take a personal offense to that because you don't know what a binge is. I've never, ever binge a full binge on camera, ever. So why are you here, Gabby? Like, why are you here? Get out of here. Meanwhile, while all of this was going on, who was in the chat? None other than Amber Lynn Reed. Jen weighs 200 pounds more. Not trying to be rude. Amber, you have some nerve to be going in there and saying that. Not only this, Amber Lynn actually donated $150 to gas up Chantal during the stream. Honestly, it was like her own little personal peep show, you know, like she put the quarters in so the curtain would go back up for another 25 minutes. 
Honestly, this seems to be a theme with Amber. She was last seen last week saying that there's no comparison between her and Tammy Slayton because she's 100 pounds more. Honestly, it makes no sense to me that Amber tries to act like she's better than anyone. You guys are both doing pretty badly. It doesn't matter. It's not a race to see who can do worse. It kind of reminds me of like an alcoholic in rehab that thinks that they're better than the people that do drugs. You're both in rehab. You both need serious help. And Chantal has shown us time and time again the kind of person that she is. That being said, I do think these girls have a right to defend themselves if that's how they see fit. But some of the places that Foodie Beauty takes it, way too far, way too low. And it gets to the point where many people that maybe were fans of her in the past don't even want to defend her anymore. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Woo, what a drama. Let me know what you guys think, and I will, of course, catch you guys, yes, you guys, in the, the next one. Bye, guys.